Well, I've caught up with one of the most recognisable names and also faces in Australian enduro. Of course, it's Jeff Ballard. Jeff, welcome to MX TV, mate. And Thanks, first Brandon. of all, congratulations. You've just won the 2009 um, Australian Four Day in your class. Well done. In the Masters class, yeah. I had a lot of fun. It's been a, a bit of a dusty week in, in some places, but overall, a lot of tests. So it, was a, it was a good event, really, really fun in the end. Yeah, great. First of all, how you got started into bikes, mate? Because you're so big into the bikes, it consumes all of your life. It was a fairly long time ago. I mean, this is the... The first four day I rode was 31 years ago. I think I started in around 75 and I just started in the fire trails in the Blue Mountains and I used to get doubled by a mate who had a bike and you know it was exciting and we used to scream along all the fire trails just like I guess a lot of kids do. My parents you know they hated the whole thing and they started sort of saying well if you're gonna do it then do it you know and they didn't really help me financially or in any other way but my mother gave me a huge amount of encouragement when I was thinking of going to Europe and she said well the worst thing you can do is get over there and it'll all fall apart and you just come home as long as you got a return ticket so that's sort of how it all really started. Pretty much race motocross because I, that was the only way I could make any money to ride the Enduro World Championship and so I did that in stunt shows, I rode in them and we, we jumped cars, we six, jumped six cars with girls lying on the ground, you just land on the flat ground and we used to jump through fire and that scared me the most the first time but after that it was really nothing. And Bet you would never have thought you were going to add freestyle rider to your resume as well. No, that's right, yeah, some of the shots from the early days were pretty funny, you know, I mean for us freestyle was like, you know, everybody would be yawning their head off if they saw what we were doing, but I just wanted to really chase the whole dream of riding professionally and everything, so I came back to Australia for a short time and then I got a ride in the US, that was the big deal for me, you know, and people used to think the Can-Ams weren't any good at all, but they had their merit and I ended up doing really well on them and rode three years professionally there and ended up winning three championships. Tell us about the early days mate because I believe you used to have some uh, tricks up your sleeve to think that you were quite a big operation back then. Oh yeah we were in a horse paddock for 10 years and um, we had a thing where you know you could only come to our store by invitation only we didn't want people to actually see it. Even today we're not really a big outfit we specialize in trying to get stuff out quickly and it started off very mellow and now it's growing and it's it's getting bigger. <laughs> it's still a big family thing for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we all still love riding and we've got a few roadies and yeah, I've got a place to, where we ride together quite a lot. But yeah, in the early days, Josh wasn't keen. He used to look at his mum like, get me out of this. I don't want to go riding with him, you know? And he's yeah. obviously got keen the last few years and he's starting to go really well and he seems to be enjoying it and it's, it's going all right. At the sixth day last year in Greece, it was pretty cool because Josh ended up being on my minute, you know, and uh, we rode the last section together all the way in it was a pretty hard event and I thought this is pretty cool you know. Last question mate, when are we not going to see Jeff Bell out on a bike? Look I really don't know, um, my body's hanging in there, it's sort of waving the white flag a little bit here and there but basically I'm feeling pretty good, I'm still enjoying it so while that's happening I still want to ride and right now it's still a lot of fun so it's quite easy to keep going you know. You look like a 30 year old and you bloody ride like one so all the best mate. Cheers, thanks Brendan.